Hi guys, I've got a number of Raspberry Pis here, and I've got a number of Raspberry Pi cases. So I thought what I'd do is I'd give you a quick review of what I think makes a good case versus what I think makes a not so good case. So here we have uh, a bunch of different Raspberry Pis, uh, but they're not all the same. So we have uh, one Model A, five Model Bs, and two Model B pluses. And in fact, this whole review has come about because of a recent B plus review that I did that showcased the uh, shortcomings of the Primeroni Ninja B Plus case. Now, I posted that on Reddit, and I've had a back and forth with Jonathan over at Primeroni. Uh, he understands uh, why I wasn't uh, too pleased with the Ninja case, uh, and we've kind of had a back and forth, and he's offered to send me a new uh, coupe case. Uh, but before I go much further into that, maybe it's best if I start explaining what I think makes a good case. A good case has access to all of the ports. It also includes access to both of the ribbon spaces and most importantly to all of the GPIOs. A good way to make a case in point with this is with this, which is the Model A, and I'm using a Pimeroni uh, Model A case. I'm just gonna pull out my LCD screen here. I'm just gonna detach it from the GPIOs, but you can see that all of the GPIOs here are accessible from the outside of the case. So it's easy to set up my different projects. As you guys know, I have different relay projects, uh, different projects that use the GPIOs in different ways. And so being able to access that, actually, I'm not gonna put that back in just now. Being able to access the GPIOs, I think is very important. It's something that you want to do with your Raspberry Pi projects. And there's easy ways to limit it. One is by making a case where it's not accessible. This is in contrast to the former Pi Bow. The Pi Bow, you'll see here on the GPIO side, has a little slot where GPIO cables can fit in and out. Now, it is a little bit difficult to get inside of this case, but if you're making a project, you can get your GPIOs attached, feed them through this little hole, and you'll still be able to work with a nice solid case. Okay, let's showcase some of the bad ones. Here's a bad one here. This is a really cheap case you might have seen on eBay. I'm sure I got this on eBay. But the problem with this case, even though you have great access to the GPIOs through here, you'll see as I start to take it apart. Sorry, just doing this off camera. As you take it apart, you can see that the GPIOs have to fit through this slot. So let's say I've already built a project with a Raspberry Pi Model B, and I've got all the GPIOs hanging out of it, well, I can't, I can't put the, this top on the case unless I break this little piece of plastic off. Why didn't they just break the little piece of plastic off in the first place? Okay, so I'm going to say this, this case, well, I know that it's not my favorite. It's not my favorite, so I'm just going to put it over to the side. The shortcoming of the Ninja, I think I made clear in my previous video, which is it has no access to the GPIOs. All right, so that, that one's out of the way, too. Looking at this... Uh, Pibo, the original, I've noticed that it doesn't have a cable feed at the top of it for the uh, eventual LCD attachment. There is one for the camera, but well, given my new standards that you have to be able to access everything, this one's also going to fall by the wayside. So I'm getting down here, and I just wanted to talk about one of the projects that I'm up to uh, to help make better videos. And it's kind of hit a roadblock, and let me explain why. So I, I have this, which is the Pi camera on top of a little tripod. I've attached it with a little nut up here. And I've run it inside one of my favorite Pi Bow Model A cases. But what happened is my cat decided to eat this cable. I don't know if you can quite see that, but it's pretty badly chewed at. So I really need to replace this cable. I've ordered one off eBay, but in order to attach and reattach this cable, I've got to take apart the entire case. So, as much as I love the Pi Bows, and I think they're great, and I use them a lot, I'm going to say that these two, they have to be disassembled in order to, to do it. So, they're going to disappear from my favorites as well. Okay, we're down to our top three cases. The first is an acrylic case available on eBay. The second is a metal case, also available on eBay. This one comes apart into different pieces. 
It also has a GPIO slot along the side there that you can see. And the last one, which is the Adafruit uh, Model B case. Okay, so each of these has uh, advantages and disadvantages. So the first is this acrylic case. This acrylic case is, is pretty darn cool. Uh, you can see you can access the GPIOs through there. It's also got slots so that you can get uh, into the camera and LCD pinches. And even better, look, you can open the case so you can reach in and change stuff. But there's a major design flaw. The major design flaw is this little corner here. See that? Now, if I have something, say, plugged into my 5 volt, which is the top right pin, I can't open it anymore because I'll, I'll break the GPIO pin in that corner. So while this is a good case, it, this case is best if you pull this lid out before you do any project stuff on the top and then reassemble it later. Major design flaw. Again, it wouldn't be hard. All you need to do is just get rid of that little corner of plastic, and this would be well, probably the best case. Unfortunately, it isn't. Next up is the metal case. This metal case with the GPIO slots on the side, it's great. Uh, the only thing is it doesn't have any camera holes or spaces for the cables to feed through. So it's not a great case either. Okay. Last up, here we are, is the Adafruit case. And the reason I love the Adafruit case so much is you can play with the GPIOs and then put the top of the case on after you've done it, which is brilliant, which is fantastic. It's probably the best, simplest design to reach the GPIOs and then close the case. The only problem is there's no slots for either of the camera or the future coming LCD. So, where does that leave us? Well, the truth is it leaves us with a bunch of imperfect cases. None of them are actually perfect. You know, the closest is probably the new coupe or the old, the old Model A from Pimeroni. And you know, I keep saying that I'm a big fan and there's, there's a reason. They've made a case that's the best. It's accessible to everything, uh, and it and it works. Okay, so there you have it. Pimeroni Coupe Model A or Coupe Model B Plus are our two winners. Maybe there's a case out there that's even better than these ones. Maybe there's a case out there that trumps them all, and I just don't know about it. One that can let you access all the GPIOs for your project and let you get in to the uh, different top components, uh, be that the camera or the monitor. I don't think I'm asking for too much. Do you guys think that I'm asking for too much? Look, these cases vary in price from very expensive to very cheap, and kind of only one or two actually provide what you need, and even then, they're not really doing it in an easy to open, easy to close sort of way. I'm looking forward to your comments in the section below. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions about any of these cases that I've bought, where I've bought them, uh, what ridiculous amounts of money that I've paid for them. You know, the truth is some of them have different purposes than others. Uh, my alarm clock project uses this metal one because I don't want to be able to see the lights. Whereas you might think that you, when you want to see the lights, you're going to want a clear top. In the end, there's a different case for every project and you should really give it a think. Unless, of course, there's one out there that I don't know of yet. Well, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to check out all my Raspberry Pi projects. There's some pretty fun ones, and I'm updating some at the moment. Uh, if you have any questions, post them in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a like if you enjoyed the video. If you found the video useful, don't forget you can buy me a coffee in the About section below. Looking forward to your posts. Thanks again.